Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RT Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which are appeared in SVPZ entrance examination from the lesson of atomic structure from the year 2013 to 2014. These are year wise questions from atomic structure. The effective nuclear charge for the outermost electron in chlorine z is equal to 17 according to Slater's rule is. Okay, according to Slater's rule, the effective nuclear charge z effective is equal to z minus screening constant. We have to calculate the screening constant. In order to calculate screening constant, first we have to write down the write down the electronic configuration of chlorine in this way. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. The same orbit, we have to divide the same orbit. Next, we have to find out what is the, to which electron we have to find out effective nuclear charge. We have to find out outermost electron, to this electron. The fifth electron we have to find out. And further, this is the nth level, this is the n minus 1 level, this is the n minus 2 level. Further, ns, np, the screening constant is 0.35. For n minus 1, yes, n minus 1, p, this constant is 0.85. For n minus 2, yes, of p, this one is 1.0. Then what is the sigma? The sigma is equal to here in nth level we have two plus four six electrons. Two plus four. We have to find out fifth electron of p orbital. So remaining four electrons and these two electrons can screen the fifth electron of p orbital. So how many electrons are there? Four. Four into Sorry, 2 plus 4, 6. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 into 0.35. Plus, here we have uh, 8 electrons. 2s2, 2p6, we have 8 electrons. 8 into 0.85. Plus, 2 into 1. 2 into 1. So, finally, we will get uh, around 10.9. Uh, Around we get sigma is equal to 10.9. Then sigma z effective is equal to z minus sigma. This one is equal to 17 minus 10.9. So this one gives a 6.1. So the correct answer is G. The G probably wavelength of an alpha particle of mass 6.68 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kc ejected from Radium at a speed of uh, 1.5 into 10 to the power of 7 meters second in masses. According to the Broglie's uh, equation, lambda is equal to h by mv. Okay, when you put uh, this uh, Planck's constraint, 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34, and m should be in cases 6.2. 6, 8 into 10 to the power of minus 27 and V, it should be in meters, 1.5 into 10 to the power of 7 meters second. Okay, after calculation, you will get around 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power of minus 15 meters. Okay, when you convert it into picometers, all are in picometers, when you convert 6.6 .6 into 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meters, which can be written as minus 3 meters. 10 to the power of minus 12 meters, this one is picometer, so it will be equal to 6.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 picometers. So this is the correct option. Kinetic energy of the electrons emitted when violet light of wavelength 4000 angstroms falls on potassium work function is given 2.2 electron volt is approximately from uh, 
photoelectric effect the equation the kinetic energy is equal to the h nu minus work function h nu minus work function here this one these values are given in electron volt so in order to convert these in electron volt we have to divide h nu by charge of electron minus work function here we have to calculate uh, what is the energy of radiation what is the energy of radiation here uh, we have to calculate h nu by h nu by g e value we have to calculate here h, h is the 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 h nu by e is equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 into nu here nu is not given c by lambda h nu by e can be written, uh, can be written as c by lambda into e minus work function so it can be written as c means velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second divided by lambda is given it should be converted into meters 4000 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters minus 8 centimeters minus 10 meters and uh, charge 1.626 into into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs okay when you simplify when you simplify this one you will get uh, around the 3.1 3.1 electron volts these are in electron volts so here the radiation energy is 3.1 electron volt so 3.1 electron volt the work function is given 2.2 electron volts so when you when you calculate you will get 0.9 electron volt so this is the correct option in an atom how many electrons can have quantum numbers n is equal to 3 ml is equal to 0 ms is equal to 1 by 2 when n is n is equal to 3 what are the l values which are possible 0 1 2 s orbital is possible p orbital is possible g orbital is possible in s orbital we have one ml value and p orbital we have one ml value and g orbital we have one ml value in ml you can put uh, plus of one electron so here in s we have one electron one electron one electron so the final number of the total number of electrons will be three atomic mass unit is defined as 1 by 12th of the mass of an, an unbound neutral atom of C12. Which of the following is the value of AMU if N is the Avogadro number? Okay. Atomic mass unit AMU, this one is defined as 1 by 12th of mass of unbound neutral C12. Suppose when you divide and multiply with the Avogadro number 1 by 12 into Avogadro number Na divided by Na. Okay, this is the um, mass of uh, this many times mass of C12 AMU is equal to. Then uh, Na into mass of single C12 means uh, one Avogadro number of uh, this is the mass of one Avogadro number of C12. So this can be written as 1 by 12 into 1 by Na into this one is a 1 mass of 1 more C12. 1 more C12. When you multiply mass of one atom with the Avogadro number, you will get the mass of 1 more C12. So it can be written as 1 by 12 Na into mass of one more c12 is 12 grams so this one this one cancel it will be equal to 1 by na grams so in grams in grams amu in grams if n is the average number it will be equal to 1 by n if atomic weight of nitrogen is 14.0067 what is the ratio of n15 
through n14 let's take uh, this is the n15 fraction is let's take x out of uh, total number of atoms the fraction is uh, let's take n15 is uh, x and n14 will be 1 minus x then uh, the atomic weight of nitrogen atomic weight uh, weight of the nitrogen is equal to x this is a fraction of uh, n15 x into the weight of this one 15.001 plus 1 minus x into this is the weight 14.0037 divided by total amount total fraction suppose if you take this fraction and this fraction and you add it the total will be 1 what is the atomic weight of nitrogen is given this one is 14.0067 when you simplify this equation when you simplify this equation you will get around x is equal to 0 0.3306 like that 07 or 0 06 like that this one 1 minus x approximately equal to 1 approximately equal to 1 then if you take the ratio we have to find out the ratio of n15 by n14 the ratio x by 1 minus x is approximately 0 0.003651 by 1. so it will be 0 0.0036 it means that the amount of n15 is 0 0.0036 parts and the amount the amount of n14 is one part okay. so the correct answer is this one Okay, in coming video, in coming video, I will explain the part three of atomic structure. Thank you.